Hi everyone, it's Karen here from Karen's Crafting Obsession. Today I want to share with you a process video of a scrapbook page that I've made using lots of fabulous paper house production products. In particular I'm using the Colourways Emerald Paper Collection Pack and various accents and puffy stickers. I'd like to start with my background. Um, I'm using a piece of white cardstock over some of the pattern paper. I just mark by using a pencil where I'd like to cut my white cardstock and then trim it off with a paper trimmer. Just check its size roughly. Then I want to add a couple of punches along the side. I had a little bit of trouble using this paper punch. It didn't work out quite like I had intended, just the way it's designed but it did give me the effect that I wanted in the end. Just nice to add a little bit of interest along the border. Sometimes it's almost also nice to even use a sewing machine to sew uh, the cardstock around. Next what I wanted to do is to apply a stencil. I brought one in my trusty box so that I don't make a mess on my craft desk. The stencil is a Kaiser Craft stencil and I'm using mists, they're Heidi Swap Colour Shine mists, two different colours. Um, I had a problem with one of the mists, it had clogged up, so if you ever have that trouble, just unscrew the top, flush it with cold water, uh, pump it until it runs freely and then pop it back in, works fine. So you can see here I have uh, finished it, it's dried the background, I think about where I want to place my photographs. And then I've got this um, accent collection pack in the emerald coloured way. Just choose a couple of these accents to go on my page. Again, there's lots of nice little arrows. I'm adding a, some of my homemade flair using the paper collection pack. There's some gorgeous uh, feathers, geotag. Lots of interesting things to try out. It always takes me a while to decide where I'm going to put things. I also thought I would add one of the snapshots or somewhere. So I found one of those that suited these colours. Kept it fairly monochromatic look. Once I've decided where everything's going to go, I take everything off of the page and begin to stick it down. I did end up trimming the white cardstock a little bit. Uh, just because the stencil didn't quite reach the edge. I've also distressed the edges of the white cardstock. Sometimes I use my nails or a distressing tool. Just adds another bit of interest to the page. So then I went on with sticking everything down. I love that um, every day is an adventure accent for the title for the project. Um, Again, using my ruler to check that it's all lined up. Stick down each of my photos. Again, checking it's lined up. At this point, my tape runner ran out of uh, tape, so I had to go back to using the dimensionals. Lay everything back on the page and then gradually stick everything down one by one. If I ever forget, or if I have a complicated layout, sometimes I'll actually take a photograph using my phone of the layout before I take everything off for sticking down, and then I can always just refer back to it if necessary while I'm sticking. I often will also keep picking it up and having a look to see um, how it looks for me, or sometimes standing up and looking down works well. Added a few of the puffy stickers from the Colourways collection. There's gorgeous words and I just love the puffy sticker effect. I then continued to lay some more of the puffy stickers around. It's great that they're on the clear sheets. You can lay them and see them how they're going to look. Sometimes there's always some little dots that can be added or arrows that can be added. Constantly having a look at the overall page. Then I got my selection of wood veneer out, laid a few on the page, 
uh, in the end I decided just to put one of the little wooden birdies down the bottom just balance the page I did also add um, it doesn't show it in the video but I added a roller date stamp with the date in the corner and some handwritten journaling I've really enjoyed making this page using lots of fabulous products from Paperhouse Productions uh, so until next time, happy crafting and thanks for watching.